As this debate begins, let us be clear on one fundamental principle. We all support the troops. That message of support was repeated on both sides of the aisle as members of the United States House of Representatives debated a non-binding resolution that opposes sending more than 21,000 troops to Iraq. Iraq is a hall of mirrors, and the administration has utterly lost its way. More troops will not help. Some Republicans argue neither will this largely symbolic resolution. The resolution does nothing to help win the war. But it doesn't do anything to help stop it either, which allows the majority to offer its support and withdraw it too. The resolution is simple, less than 100 words. It states the House supports the troops, but not the president's escalation. Some Republicans argue support for the troops can't exist without support for their mission. Uh, you're simply sending a message, and it's the wrong message. Democrats say this resolution is the first step in a campaign to end U.S. military involvement in Iraq, a move many Republicans disagree with. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi said the war is a commitment with no end in sight, a call for change she says was made by the American people in November's midterm elections. A vote of disapproval will set the stage for additional Iraq legislation. Friday's vote will signal whether the House has heard the American people. No more blank checks for President Bush on Iraq. House members will vote on Friday. The resolution is expected to pass with support from dozens of Republicans, though we may not hear from them. Republicans who vote in favor are expected to do so quietly. Reporting for The Politico, Nicole Collins, News Channel 8.